sitting here with Peter Henze from Spirit Legal. Hi. Peter, great to have you back. Thank you. What were some of the main key takeaways from your presentation that you wanted to uh, kind yeah, of give that's us? Yeah, that's a good question. I think one of the main uh, takeaways was, is, as always, protect your brand. As a hotel company, that's what, uh, what, what people like about you, your brand. So protect your brand name, protect your identity, and um, um, look that your trademark rights are being protected online, mm. on Google and all the other meta searches. So that's one takeaway. Another one uh, um, should be um, watch out for copyright issues because copyright um, and copyright claims are increasing in number and also in, in, in size in terms of uh, the value of the claims. Mm -hmm. um, and also let's have a look at uh, like data protection and data security issues and I guess that um, also this is a growing topic, a topic of growing concern um, primarily. So. Um, just do an audit of your systems and um, not only check, but also uh, look for insurance policies. Yeah. Okay, great. It's, it's good that you mentioned the data side of things and the security because it's another question I wanted to just touch on you, even though it might That's not good. be related to directly what you were presenting mm -hmm. on, but you're a good person to ask. <laughs> um, even though we're seeing a lot of companies increase their security mm -hmm. around the data side of it, breaches are still happening. I mean, these, these yeah, hackers, no these people are very intelligent. They, they know how to get in. So I kind of wanted to just ask you, um, are there an increasing number of cases in which large numbers of affected uh, persons from these breaches, so the people mm -hmm. that are having their data stolen, are they making claims and damages um, against the companies that are being breached? Are you aware of any? Yes, to all of those. So um, from my perspective, uh, one, I would not agree with increased security. Um, from my perspective, um, uh, like the, the all companies in e-commerce and especially the hotel industry has very weak IT security mm. despite all the, uh, the the events in recent times like the first data breaches uh, occurring in 2007, 8, 9, 10 and like every year there was a, another major data breach um, like leading to the one uh, most famous of the uh, Starwood Marriott database mm. Mm. Um, but I don't see any like relevant investment in IT security. So they are a main target because they have data, like um, credentials of people, passwords, uh, login stuff. They also have sometimes less now, but they had in the past uh, credit card numbers. Um, so that's that's one thing. And they have very like re like not even the most basic type of security. Um, so they are an easy target mm -hmm. and they have a lot of data, easy targets. So um, in Germany we say, wo ein Trog steht, kommen Schweine. So you may uh, <laughs> translate this into into English. Um, I'll let Leah do that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Leah, Leah can translate it. So it's, um, they just attract uh, the criminals yeah, uh, with yeah. weak security and uh, a lot of uh, good data. Yeah, even though we've had so much uh, news and, in, and information go out about the need for increasing security. Why, and I guess I could ask you this from a personal perspective, why do you feel that there seems to be this reluctance to increase the security? Is it because they're concerned concern about the cost it might impact on or is it because they just don't know, really know where to start? Um, or is it um, both? A capable CISO uh, for a medium-sized company costs more than like for hotel directors per yeah. year. Yeah. So they want to save the money. Yeah. Um, we have like a lot of very proprietary systems in the hotel industry, so they they do not participate in the uh, like in the benefits of um, uh, of the computer like cloud at scale. Yep. Um, they don't put their data into Azure data centers or AWS or something like that. Even more problematic under Shrimps too currently, but. Um, they just don't. They use these old like uh, service providers. It's a very fragmented market, like more than 300 different service providers for property management systems in Germany alone. Um, so that's never a good sign for, um, for good security. So mm -hmm. if one wants to attack a specific system, you just have to look for one floor and with 300, 400, 500 different uh, service providers, one will have yeah this floor because they didn't patch or right. they didn't install the last patch or right. something like right. that. Okay, excellent. But, but you asked, uh, Missouri, I, 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 okay. I didn't answer your 
uh, second part of the question, are there any ongoing cases? We, we know of uh, many ongoing cases. The uh, uh, Starwood Marriott case is one where people do not uh, only sue like in Germany or in France or in Belgium, but also in the UK. UK is like a front runner for, for class actions, for consumer class actions in the Netherlands too. So um, it's, uh, I mean, the, the risk amounting from, from those claims is substantial. Um, it's not just the US with their like billions of dollars in possible settlements, but um, also in the UK and in the Netherlands and a little bit of that also in Germany mm. as well. Okay. Hotels should be concerned, but I mean, that's life. We are concerned about everything. Yeah, yeah exactly. All right, excellent. Peter, thanks so much for joining us today. Great Thank you. you. Thank you.